Hi class, so in this video I'm going to show you on how to solve for your uh, closed system problem. Um, since you know closed system have two, one is rigid container and another one is moving boundary work. So in this video it's about rigid container and the working fluid is on ideal gas, which is uh, in this example is your nitrogen. So let's have a look. So in these questions we have a uh, Closed rigid container contains nitrogen, nitrogen gas at 65 kilopascal with a temperature of 200 degrees C. So this is the initial state. And the mass given of the gas is 0 0.393 kilogram and it is to be heated until its pressure is doubled. Right? So you need to determine the volume of the rigid container as well as the amount of heat transfer. So yeah, before that, I would like to recall the seven steps to problem solving. So we have read through the problem statement. Now we need to come up with a schematic diagram, right? And then we go to approximation and assumptions. Then only we are going to apply the physical laws and state all the properties and finally calculate the, uh, the, the given state. And in the end, we need to verify... Um, our answers, right? So let's start with the um, schematic diagram. So we have a rigid container where inside this container we have a nitrogen gas with a mass of 0 0.393 and uh, from uh, state 1 right, you have pressure 1 is equal to 65 kilopascal and temperature at 200 degrees C and remember you need to change it into a Kelvin right because this is an ideal gas plus we have 273 Kelvin so it will give you 473 Kelvin and it is to be heated until so it is to be heated so basically you can imagine that you are going to have Q in here right until the pressure is double, so your P2 is equal to uh, 2 P1, right? So now let's tra translate uh, this physical diagram into your PV diagram to see the relations of your uh, pressure and also your volume. So what you have is, um, this is your PV, right? So the first state is 65 pressure and uh, your next stage is 130 kilopascal. Okay. So let's assume that um, your state one here at somewhat temperature 200 degree uh, uh, Celsius of 473 Kelvin starts at here. So this is your state one. It's a rigid container, so the volume is actually the same, right? So this is your state two. Now the question asks you to find the volume of the container and the amount of heat, heat transfer. So this one, we are going to use this PVMRT and this one will make use of your energy balance for your closed system. Alright, so let us uh, solve for the first part, right? So you have... Um, P1, V1 is equal to MRT1 and given that your uh, ideal gas is no nitrogen so your, your R is equal to so your mass is 0 0.393 times if your R is 0 0.2968 and times if your temperature here which is 473 over with your pressure at 65 kilopascals. So you got your V1 equal to 
zero point eight four nine meter cube. So now let's move to the second question, which is the amount of heat transfer based on your energy balance. So you start with summation of your energy in is equal to whatever going out. So in this case, you have obviously you have your uh, heat addition here. Okay. So you are going to have uh, Q in. So there's no, uh, or we can write also Q in minus Q out plus your work in minus work out. There's no moving boundary work. This is a rigid thing. So it's equal to change of your internal energy. There's no kinetic and potential because we are analyzing on closed system, right? And because inside your nitrogen uh, rigid container, you don't have any work done, so you can cancel out this term. And because it is clearly that the process is heating process, right? Therefore, you can cancel out this Q out term. That left you with Q in is equal to your change of U, right? Um, because of this is an ideal gas, so your change of U is actually um, CV uh, temperature at 2 minus your temperature 1. Okay, where your CV is actually your specific heat at constant volume. So you M is already given and T1 is already given, so how are you going to find your T2? Another, uh, we have, uh, remember that we have uh, relations of constant volume, right? Because this is a rigid thing. So we make use of that constant volume relations, which is um, your V2 is equal to your V1. So you arrange, rearrange your PVMRT here, right? So it will become um, MRT2 over your P2 is equal to MRT1 over your P1. And because this is a closed system, so basically your mass is the same, so you can cancel out. And the ideal gas that, that, that inside this rigid tank is still the same, which is your nitrogen, so you can cancel out your R term as well. So now it left you a few temperature 2, pressure 2, temperature 1, and pressure 1. And the unknown value that we are looking for is your T2. So you plug in all the value that you know, so you will get your T2 over here. Let's solve this. Now when you rearrange the above, so you are going to have your T2 is equal to 946 Kelvin. So you plug in this value inside this equation, so you are going to solve for your Q in. Alright, so the value of your constant volume, specific heat at constant volume for your nitrogen, you can get from your property table. Okay, so this is the value. And you plug in everything known value inside this equation, and finally you will obtain your Q in is equal to 138 kilojoule. So remember, the, the final step in problem solving is to uh, discuss or verify your, your findings. So, um, what happened actually in this your uh, rigid container, right, where this amount of heat transfer inside your container has causing the molecule of nitrogen inside your container. If I can uh, sketch this, if we if can imagine that the molecule is like this, right? So when you give up heat inside this container, finally, it will build up the pressure and it will increase your pressure to uh, double it to 130 kel uh, 30, 30 kilopascal here, okay? Therefore, you will see that as your pressure increase, right, to P2, your temperature will also increase. So you can see now, 
that uh, your temperature now rise to 946 Kelvin. As the definitions of uh, heat, it says that um, when you have a temperature difference, so you are going to have a, a heat flows. Okay. Alright, so uh, we will going to continue uh, in the next video, example on your closed system but for moving boundary work. Thank you.